welcome to Naresai Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In the last video, we did talk about uh, Java dot Ivo dot console. Up to now, we did learn about uh, different types of classes like uh, command line argument as well as buffer reader as well as scanner as well as console. Now, in this video especially, I am going to be talk about how to read the data from the keyboard dynamically by using a data input stream. First, especially in this video, I am highlighting how to read the data. After that, I am printing on the data again on the console. Later end of this video, I am going to be talk about uh, drawbacks of the data input stream. And finally, in this video, I am going to be give the conclusion among these five ways, which one is the better one. Okay. Now, let me start with the data input stream. Data input stream is the part of IO package, java.io package. This is what uh, uh, data input stream. So, with the help of the data input stream, we can read data from the keyboard as well as we can read the data from the files. We can read the data from the keyboard as well as we can read data from the various files. Especially in this video, only I am going to be concentrate on how to read the data dynamically from the keyboard by using a data input stream. So, before using this concept, uh, let me show the constructor related to data input stream. Now, let me type like uh, java p java dot ivo dot data input stream. Now, it will showing like data input stream having one constructor observe here data input stream extends of what uh, file input stream and uh, here I have one uh, constructor what is that uh, data input stream java dot ivo dot uh, input stream here. Now, observe here by using this constructor we can able to a read a data. Now, observe here developed a programming concept on top of the data input stream. For the purpose, I am taking one notepad. I am taking one class like a data input stream demo. In this class, I am taking one method like a public, static, void main and a string array AR. Now, I am writing here uh, system dot out dot println enter some data. Now, let me create an object for data input stream, data input stream das equal to new data input stream and here I am using system dot in. Now, our data input stream is available in IO package. So, I need to import that uh, IO package like this data input stream. Yes, but if only compiler can able to understand only Java dot lang related package, it will not understand IO related package. So, we need to give the information to the compiler where exactly data input stream is existed in our packages. Now, after that, uh, let me change this code from first statement to second statement. Yes. Now, after that, I am using some methods related to data input stream. Now, observe here, we have a read methods, we have a read boolean, we have read byte as well as read int as well as what a read long and a read line method it is going to be read the data in the format of string. So, first let me go and uh, uh, write the program related to read line later we can go for remaining things. Now, ds dot uh, read line ds dot read line method will give information or will read the data in the format of what string only. After that I am printing the data on the console system dot out dot print line yes okay this is my data now i'm saving 
so where exactly I am saving on top of the uh, desktop by using the name like what uh, data input stream demo dot uh, java all files must and should be save as type must and should be all files and click on a uh, save button let me go and check this is my program data input stream demo dot java nothing but yes demo dot uh, java so where exactly this program is exi existed on top of the desktop so let me navigating to desktop here now java c das demo dot java das demo dot java yes unreported exception by intensely i am highlighting so here ds dot reline method will throwing one exception what is that i o exception so what should i do either either i can i either i can write this statement within the try and catch or by throwing what uh, by using throws keyword throws what is that i o exception so where exactly again if you are compile this program again we are getting one uh, compile time error the reason is i o exception is not belongs to lang package again we need to import the statement so directly i am writing here java dot i o dot i o exception good now let me compile the program so java c ds demo dot java compiler will giving one warning message ds dot demo dot java uses or overrides a deprecated api so here real line method having some problems internally coding wise uh, having some problem it will not converting a uh, bytes to proper characters uh, that's why it this method is going to be deprecated now observe here now java dis uh, demo so it will giving enter some data here i'm writing like uh, naresh i technologies now what happen enter naresh i technology will be reading by the method method like what uh, real line good now if i'm sending the data if i'm sending the data like uh, 100 so 100 is also reading in the format of what uh, string if you are sending the data like uh, false the data is also reading in the format of what uh, string only everything is reading in the format of string by using real line method now my requirement is my requirement is let me read uh, let me read integer type data let me read integer type data now just i copied this code and again paste here now yeah enter some giving meaningful uh, in user user understandable message that is what uh, integer data now in this time i am using i want to read the data in the format of int so let me use one method like int now here may variable is what s1 here is also variable is what s1 yes now observe guys and let me again compile this program so if you are doing any modification we must and should be save and compile and execute the program yes now java p java dot java c Uh, das uh, demo dot uh, java has yes, successfully compiled my program so a little bit of a mistake uh, the i am re i'm reading the data in the format of what uh, int uh, but i'm placing into where uh, string so what should i do i need to convert so the same proper message is giving what is that proper message uh, observe here uh, incompatible types uh, int cannot be converted to string with the help of the read int method we are going to be read the data in which format integer format but previously i'm placed into where string but right now int so there is no problem in this particular time so let me compile again this program yes successfully compiled now java dis demo demo that's enough now it will asking enter some data yes i'm going to be enter uh, kit yes kit will be read by real line method and place it into where string s yes. after that i'm printing yes s value at uh, kit now uh, now i need to enter what type of data integer data so that integer data will be read by which method a uh, read int method 
so let me try to integer let me try to insert integer data oh my god i'm i'm entering the value like 100 but internally it will giving some extra number unreliable result we will get so read into method it is unable to read the data which we entered in the command prompt as it is into where program so whatever the value in the command prompt providing the value like 100 but read int method is unfortunately read 100 as it is into our program but it will reading in the format of some other so i am entering the data like 100 but it will giving the format is what different so that's why we are unable to use a, a read int method directly but my requirement is what i want to read the integer data then what should i do very simple again int s1 equal to ds dot here integer dot parse int after that what should i do ds dot real line method now ended with the what here semicolon now here again i am compile the program so java c ds dot demo demo dot java yes again i am executing the program ds demo now yes enter some data so here i am entering like what here kit very good kit will be read by the real line method and placed into where yes and after that i am printing now now i am entering the integer data now what happened 100 i am sending now i am getting the 100 again so here if you are using read into method i am getting some different value if i am using the real line method first i am reading the data in the format of what a string first i am reading the data in the format of string again i am writing what here conversion logic the same problem we have in the where in the buffer reader also and buffer reader in the buffer reader also we can able to read the data in the format of what uh, string only later we need to convert so this is also giving what same flexibility that's why we are not uh, using this uh, concept in the real time java community people itself telling if you want to read the data from the uh, keyboard better to go for what here java dot io dot buffer reader internally some uh, coding and performance problem we have related to data input stream so we are always if you want to read the data uh, from the keyboard better to use buffer reader so whenever we compare the buffer reader and data input stream which one is the better buffer reader only whenever we compare the buffer reader and scanner class which one is the better scanner class so already we discussed the uh, how scanner class is overcome the buffer reader problems and buffer reader drawbacks in the last video now observe here finally i am going to be conclusion with the help of the data input stream we can read the data from the keyboard so with the help of the data input stream we can first read the data in the format of what uh, string later i need to convert it into what here integer if you are directly use read into method whatever the integer data i am entered in the keyboard as it is it will not read that's why we are not prefer this uh, class in the real time either we can go for what uh, buffered reader or we can go for what java.util.scanner class so here in this video i covered only how to read the data from the keyboard by using the data input stream and also i'm going to be show you in the next video i'm going to be show you how to read the data from the files i hope you enjoy this video more videos please subscribe naresh it channel thank you